We all love the arrival of a new gadget, something that will make life more convenient and entertaining for yourself, or help you with a clever gift idea for a family or friend. Your child has spent years watching you tap away on your phone or laptop. Give them a turn on an age-appropriate device of their own. Check out these coolest gadgets for kids. Before starting the video, please subscribe to the Tech Turbo and click on the notification icon so you would get notified when we upload the next video. 11. Vodafone Smartwatch for Kids Vodafone has teamed up with Disney to bring us this incredible smartwatch for kids which you and up to 9 trusted contacts can use to call and chat to them. It also features a camera activity tracker and calendar. Plus, they can personalize Neo with their own Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, or Marvel sidekick who comes to life in the watch. This means it could be a great first phone for younger children or even a backup to keep around the house just in case. The phone itself features a dual-core processor and 4GB of internal memory for saving apps and photos. While 4GB may not seem a lot, which it really isn't in this day and age, it is easily upgraded by adding a microSD card. The phone comes with most of the standard features one would hope to see from a mobile phone, but is it capable of making use of things such as GPS? 10. Amazon Fire HD 8 Kids Edition We've reported critically on Amazon in the past, but if you're a parent with a younger child, the company's tech products for kids are worth a look. Amazon's kid-oriented tablets are the most durable, affordable, and easy to manage on the market. This year, Amazon acknowledged that the word kid covers a broad range of ages, and it now has two versions, last year's regular version and this year's Fire HD 10 Kids Pro at $200. We still think the Fire HD 8 is the best for little kids. The Pro Edition is really big in my 6-year-old's hands, but it might be worth it if your older child needs faster processor speeds for Rabbit's coding or Lego apps. Both, however, come with a year's subscription to Amazon Kids Plus, which makes it easy for parents to monitor consumption, filter content, and set time limits from a smartphone. They also include a sturdy, durable case and a 2-year, worry-free replacement guarantee. 9. Google Pixel 4a and Google Pixel 4a 5G According to my colleague Simon Hill and basic common sense, the best kid's phone is an old phone that you already have. That means if you're an Apple family and you recently upgraded to the iPhone 13, you can now pass on your old phone. If you're a Pixel family, your kid is lucky because the Pixel 4a is still a great Pixel phone. The compact 5.8-inch body is great for smaller hands, and you don't have to worry about your child shattering the plastic body. The OLED screen still looks great. The battery lasts all day, and it will continue to get software updates through August 2023. Just know that if you want to buy it new, it's a little hard to find in stock right now, and don't forget to childproof it before you hand it over. 8. Facebook Portal Go there must be a time where you would have thought that having a dedicated video phone was superfluous. Now that your kid's ability to travel has been severely limited, having a Facebook portal has been a lifesaver. This year's Facebook Portal Go improves on the original portal by making it portable, integrating it with apps like Google Calendar and Zoom, and introducing different household profiles so your children can pick it up and use it without accidentally calling your boss. The smart sound and smart camera features pick up your kids' voices amidst background babble and focus on tiny faces even if they move around. 7. Amazon Glow My kids and I have been using the Amazon Glow for about a week. The Glow is a 14-inch tall freestanding tower that projects a light screen onto a hard surface. It comes with a touch mat. Your remote family member downloads the Glow app onto a tablet. When they sign into the app, they and your child can call each other to draw together, read stories, or play games with physical pieces that Amazon calls Glow Bits. We have a Tangram set for testing. If you're a parent and your goal is to get free time to wash dishes, the Glow requires a lot more setup and supervision than the Portal. 6. Amazon Kindle Paperwhite Kids 
This year, Amazon introduced three new Paperwhite models. These include a new kids edition, which has a larger 6.8 inch screen with adjustable warm lighting and up to 10 weeks of battery life. As with the Fire tablets, the Kindle Kids Edition includes a kid-friendly cover, a year's subscription to FaceTime, and two-year replacement guarantee. If you have an older kid who you want to keep away from the internet for a little longer, I think that the waterproofing, longer battery life, and less lag time when turning pages are all worthy upgrades. You can also download free library books if you run out of material in Kids Plus. However, if you're not sure, the original Kindle for Kids is now much cheaper. It's also worth noting that Reading Sidekick doesn't work with the Kindle. If you don't have a print book, your child will need to read on the Kids Plus app or on their Fire tablet. 5. Amazon Echo Glow To be honest, Amazon's smart night light doesn't do very much. But it's gorgeous, small, and has a variety of colors and light modes, like disco or underwater. You can enable tapping to switch colors on the glow. You can also adjust the main color, tweak the brightness, or turn it off remotely from the Alexa app. You will need a compatible Alexa-enabled device to set it up. If you just need a smart nightlight for a younger kid and don't want to spring for an Echo device, the Hatch Baby Rest at $60 is another one that we love. 4. Apple Watch SE With family setup, Apple has made it easier than ever before to hand off your old Apple Watch to your child, with the caveat that you'll need an Apple Watch that has cellular capabilities and is compatible with Watch OS 7. Family setup has two major advantages. First, you may have already upgraded to the Series 7 and thus have an old SC lying around. Second, it makes great use of the watch's GPS capabilities. Once it's on and activated, your kid will pop up in the Find My app. The major downside is that you are handing your kids a full-fledged smartwatch, complete with podcasts, fitness tracking, and dozens of functions that a young kid probably doesn't need. 3. Verizon Gizmo Watch 2 Verizon's Gizmo Watch 2 is a good alternative children's smartwatch, especially for a younger kid. It comes in several colors, including a preschooler-friendly pink. Even though the watch is a little large, 2 inches from corner to corner, it's still small enough to wear comfortably. It's also waterproof and pink. It doesn't have a ton of features. You can track kid location in the Gizmo Hub app on your phone, and she can call her parents or her grandparents by clicking on their pictures in the contacts page. Unlike the Apple Watch, it can be set up and monitored from both iOS and Android phones. Two. Nintendo Switch Lite Several parents have asked me if they should get their child a Nintendo Switch to pass the time during quarantine. Years after it debuted, it's still on everyone's holiday wish list. And yes, everyone deserves a Switch. They are very popular and never go on sale, but there is a more affordable version of Nintendo's handheld console called Switch Lite. This would make a great holiday present for the kid in your life. Even if they end up losing interest, you can pick it up and play games yourself. 1. Yodo Player There's a world of games and gadgets designed to free your little ones from the tyranny of the touchscreen, but few deliver on that promise. Enter the Yodo Player. It's a wireless speaker, but what sets it apart is you can buy audiobooks on physical cards. Your child slots these cards into the top of the Yoto player to start listening, like inserting a cartridge into old school video game consoles. It's not only for audiobooks, but also meditations and sleep stories, children friendly radio stations, podcasts, plus soothing sleep sounds. All of this comes without a screen in sight. There's just a cute pixel art display that doubles as a clock. Do let us know in the comments which one of them is your most favorite among them. Please subscribe to the Tech Turbo. Thanks for watching.